yeah. We be too yeah. fascinated with money Chasing dollars but don't have the credit Get some knowledge and learn how to get it You can have it but what about spirit This whole country but godless with systems To go against everything that is proficient What's up everybody? I literally just dropped our son off at school and I was just in the presence of the Lord. I was praying and I really felt the Holy Spirit. The presence was just so strong, you guys. And in the midst of that, God was letting me know that there are so many other people who feel the exact same way that you feel right now. I want you to share this with other people. You guys, usually I try to get on here. You guys know I have my notes. I have everything all planned out, how I want to say things, the flow of things. And God says, like, listen, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to get on the camera and be perfect in order to share this message. Speak from your heart. So this message is for those of you who you've been going through a hard time. You've been struggling you've been feeling like just heavy laden, you've been feeling like giving up. And my intention is to give you encouragement throughout this video. Um, so many of us are going through hard times, you guys. And I was just thanking God in the middle of my storm. I was thanking God that trouble don't last always. I was thanking God for all of the things that God has already brought me through. And God wants me to do the same thing for you. So you guys, I came to you in my husband's office and I'm just recording in different areas just to see which area works the best. So I wanna start off this video with a word of prayer for you guys. I want to encourage you during your storm and just let you guys know, even though you're in the middle of a storm, even though you can't see which way to go, even though you don't know what to do, even though you're tired of talking to God, you are tired of going to God about the same thing over and over. You know what the word of God says. You already know the scriptures. You know the Bible. You know everything in it that you think is true is true. And everything that you believe that God is going to do, God is going to do. But it just takes Sometimes it just takes so long to get to that next place. So God is saying in the in-between, go ahead and give them a message of hope. So let's start off this word or this video with a prayer. Heavenly Father, let the words of my mouth and let, the, let the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Father God, you said that when two or three are gathered in your name, that you are in the midst. Father God, as you know, so many of us are hurting right now. Father God, we want to come to you with clean hearts and ask that you forgive us, Father God, of anything that we've done, Father, that is unpleasing in your sight, Heavenly Father. Anything that we've been carrying that you've told us to let go, Heavenly Father, we ask for forgiveness. Father God, we just want to come to you and ask for healing of our bodies, Father God. So many of us right now are going through sicknesses, Father God. So many of us are going through financial ruin, Heavenly Father, where we feel like that every time we look around, something else needs money, something else needs to be paid for, Father God. And a lot of our issues are financially related, Heavenly Father. So for those of us who are going through financial issues, Heavenly Father, we ask right now, Heavenly Father, for the windows of heaven to pour out a blessing that we don't have room enough to receive. Father God, we know that in you there is no lack, but you are the God of abundance, Heavenly Father. We thank you for prosperity in Jesus' name, Father God. We thank you for bills paid off, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord God, for our dream home, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord God, for the new cars that we want to drive, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that any repairs that need to be broken, Heavenly Father, we thank you for repairs being fixed right now in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for tuition being paid, Father God, in Jesus' name. We thank you for that promotion, Father God. We thank you for advancement in our careers, Father God. We thank you so much for that check in the mail that was so unexpected, Heavenly Father, that could cover every single thing that we are worried about, Father God. 
Thank you so much for paying every single bill that we have, Father God, in advance. Thank you for covering rents, Father God. Thank you for covering mortgages, Father God. Thank you for homes being paid off, Father God. Thank you for new homes being purchased in Jesus' name, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for people who are being employed right now, Father God. For those of us who are unemployed, who are wanting jobs, Father God, we thank you for that new opportunity to grow in our advancement, Father God, and to grow in our career fields, Father God. Thank you for calls being made right now, Heavenly Father, where people can get that job opportunity to think that they've been waiting on, Father God. For those of us who are looking for healing, Father God, of our bodies, Father God, healing of our minds, Father God, thank you so much for going through our bodies, Father God, and setting everything in perfect working order, Father God. We bind any sickness and we say that sickness, you have no authority in our bodies and we bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. Any viruses in our bodies right now, Father God, we bind them right now in the name of Jesus and we say that they have no authority over us, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for health, Father God. Thank Thank you for peace, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord God, for vitality in Jesus' name, Father God. Thank you for the strengthening of our minds, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father God, for putting everything in perfect working order, Heavenly Father. We bind the spirit of fear in Jesus' name, Father God, for those of us who've been in fear, Father God. We bind the spirit of anxiety in Jesus' name, Father God. So many of us have been walking in anxiety, Father God. So many of us don't know how things are going to work out, Heavenly Father. So many of us don't know how everything is going to come to together, God. We can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, Father God, and we thank you that you are walking us through that tunnel, Father God. Even though we don't know how it's going to work out, Father God, thank you for instructing us, God. Thank you for still giving us a desire to pray, God. Thank you for still coming to us, Heavenly Father, and still working things out behind the scenes, even though we can't see them. Father God, for those of us who are wanting to give up, Father God, for who are tired of praying, Father God, those of us who are tired and we just want to give up but Father God, thank you for allowing us to fight another day, Father God. Thank you for giving us strength to overcome those things, Father God, and for not allowing those things to overcome us, Father God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for healthy families, God. We bind toxic relationships in Jesus' name. Father God, thank you so much for peace in the middle of a storm, Father God. Thank you for answers, Father God. Thank you for laughter, Father God, instead of depression, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for full bellies, God, and not hungry stomachs, God. Thank you for filling our refrigerators with food, God, and the necessary things that we need. Thank you for helping us with our prescription costs and anything that we need in order to make our bodies healthy, God. Thank you for vitamins. Thank you for our kids, God. Thank you for the teachers who are protecting our kids and who are teaching our kids and who are leading and guiding our kids right now, God. We thank you that they are covered by the Holy Spirit, God. Thank you for the blood of Jesus covering not only my life, but all of those who are assigned to us and all of those who are listening right now, God, every one of them, Father. Thank you for allowing your divine protection to go with them and in front of them and through them and behind them and on the side of them, God, and with them, Father God. Thank you for being with us in every single situation, in every and all circumstances. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. You guys, God wants you to accept these things right now. All of these things that we do not know. All of these things that we don't have an understanding for. Even though we don't know how the situation in our lives are going to work out. God is telling you right now to reach up by faith and to get it. Get that house that you've been wanting. Get that health that you've been wanting. Get that body that you've been wanting. Accept it right now by faith. Because God says it is already done. Even though you don't know how things are going to work out. God says you don't have to know in order to take the first step. Even though you're not sure how everything is going to come together, God says you don't have to be sure. Do not focus on the things that you do not know about. Do not focus on the things that you cannot understand. God says even though everything around you looks bad, even though finances keep piling up, even though these bills keep coming in, even though the doctor said this, even though you can see these things and these things are trying to have you, God says those things don't have you. Those things do not have control over you. Do not allow them to dictate what I am. God says, I am that I am. You want help? I am help. God says, you want strength? God says, I am strength. God says, you want financial breakthroughs? You want financial abundance and financial wealth? God says, I am wealth. I am that I am. God says, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, who carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest for your souls. For my burden is 
My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come to me. Lay your burdens at the feet of Jesus. And I know that you're tired. I know what you're going to say. I've heard of all of this before. I don't want to do this anymore. And somehow, some way, you keep getting up every single day. That is nothing but God. Even though you don't have enough gas, you still somehow find a way to get to work. That is nothing but God because God is the God of abundance. And if we keep focusing on these things that we can see, we keep focusing on lack, we keep focusing on the fact that we don't have. You are hungry. You go to the refrigerator you see there's no food in there and you're like how am I going to keep thanking God how am I going to keep praising God how am I going to keep going to God when I see that there is no food in our refrigerator how am I supposed to go to God and pray to God when my health is failing when my health is not good God says I am help God says even though you see these things and these things look bad to you right now I am letting you know that I am blessing your situation right now I am in the midst of blessing your situation even though it looks looks bad. You look to the faith. You look to that new healthy body. You look to that restoration in your body. You look to that abundance. You look to that new car. You look to that dream home. You look to that dream family, that dream spouse. You focus on the things that you cannot see. You focus on the things of faith, Hebrews 11.1. 1. And even though you can't see these things, God says when you focus on the things of faith, those things will be multiplied. Those things will continue to come to you. But when you focus on the things that you can't see, when you focus on those things, God says he will give you more of that. He will bless you with that. He will show you confirmation. But when you keep focusing on the things you can see, you keep focusing on the things that are, are lacking, the things that you don't have, the money that you don't have, the repairs that you can't fix, the finances that you don't have in order to give, God says you will get more lack. You will get more of those things that you don't want when you focus on those things. Because with your energy goes is where energy flows whatever you focus on you will get more of that and God is telling his people right now that is why your situation right now is not blessed because you're focusing on the things that you don't have God says I am not a God of lack when you are looking to the lack that you have when you're so focused on what you're tired of doing when you're so focused on the strength that you don't have you are allowing those things to grow in your life you are bringing those things into your life whether you realize it or not whether you believe it or not it is happening and God wants me to send this message to you to let you know you need to focus on the things of faith yes it is hard but nobody ever said that this will be easy nobody ever said that following God was an easy thing to do but God is letting you know right now if you keep focusing on those things whichever way you choose to look whether it be the things of faith or the things of lack God is going to give you more of those things God would never allow you to just come this far and to leave you behind. God does not want to see you suffer. God doesn't want to see you hurt. It hurts God when you are hurting. God put us down here for abundance and prosperity. God did not put us down here just to have lack. God is not a God of lack. He is a God of abundance. He is a God of fruitfulness and righteousness and God wants us to bear fruit, but you cannot bear fruit if you're focusing on your lack of what you don't have. It doesn't make sense. So God is letting me know and he's letting you guys know you have to focus your mind and your thoughts on the things that are above, the things that are unseen, the things that are, that are not yet here, but that they are on their way. And you have to accept it by faith right now in Jesus name that you have that home, that you have that, that financial breakthrough that you want, that you have that prosperity, you have that wealth, you have that dream car, you have that loan paid off, you have your school tuition paid off, you have that degree already, you have that marriage already. You have any and everything that you want already. Accept it right now. Believe it by faith. Comment down below what you already have. Even though you may not have it in the physical, you have it in the spiritual. And it is only a matter of time for it to come into fruition. But God is letting you know you have to let those things go that you can see. That is what messes us up. The things that are around us, the things that we can see, they distract us. They're just distractions to make us focus on the lack because we know that Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy. And God said, stop letting Satan destroy that seed that I planted in you for good. 
He is taking what I did for good and he is trying to turn it into something evil. He's trying to turn it into something bad. He's trying to turn it into worry, into doubt, into fear. And God says, bind those things right now in Jesus name and tell them instead, I bind down fear and instead I choose joy. I choose to trust God. I choose not to lean on my own understanding. I choose to believe every single thing that I've prayed for is on its way. Even though I'm tired, I don't have anything to lose. Might as well put all that I have left inside of me in God. God, instead of putting it in lack, instead of putting it in fear and in unforgiveness and doubt and insincerity and envy and slander and all of those negative things that are of this world. You are not of this world. We are in the world, but not of the world. So God is calling his people to wake up and he's saying, listen, you need to change your mind in order to change your life. If you want to see your circumstances change, you first have to change yourself. You have to change the way you think. You have to change your mind because your mind is allowing your circumstances everything that you see around you that you don't like is a result of yourself and i hate to break it to you but it literally is the way that you're thinking if you keep thinking god is not listening to me god is not listening and answering my prayers god is always listening to you he can hear your heart he knows your innermost thoughts how is it that he's not listening to you when he knows the very thoughts he knows the numbers of hairs that are on your head God created you. God knows you better than you know yourself. Of course, God is listening to you. God is inside of you. His Holy Spirit lives in you. So everything that you think, even before you speak it, God already knows what you're going to say. God already knows that you're going to go through all of this. And God would never allow you to come this far and to have you suffering just to have you suffer. You know it has to be for your good. God works all things together for all of our goods, whether you believe it or whether you don't. So you're going through this storm right now. It's just for a season. Seasons don't last long. Trouble don't last always. And that's the good news that I came to bring you today. That even though you're suffering right now, even though you're weeping right now, weeping may be tonight. But when the joy comes, joy comes in the morning. You may be weeping right now, but joy will come in the morning light. That is what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Father God. Even though I'm not perfect, Father God, thank you so much for allowing me to deliver this message to your people, Father God. Thank you for giving me the courage to do this, Father God. Thank you for giving me the wisdom. Thank you for giving me the strength to speak to your people, Father God. I pray that each and every one of them can hear my message, Heavenly Father, and that it goes right into their situation, God. Thank you for allowing me to speak directly into somebody's situation, God. Thank you for giving me the heart to help other people, Heavenly Father. Thank you so much for touching them right now, every single one of them, Father God, who is under the sound of my voice, Heavenly Father. Thank you for touching them, Heavenly Father. Thank you for leading them, Lord God. Thank you for guiding them, Heavenly Father. Thank you for breaking those chains off them, Heavenly Father. Thank you that generational curses are being broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, thank you so much for understanding. Thank you for giving them clarity, Father God. Thank you for giving them the vision, Heavenly Father. Thank you for allowing them to be out activating their faith, Heavenly Father. Thank you for giving them a desire to pray and a heart to pray, God, and ears to listen to when you're speaking, God. Thank you for giving them confirmation and sound and signs, Heavenly Father, and a sound mind. Father God, I thank you right now that they've received all of these things right now by faith. And it's in Jesus' mighty and holy name that I pray, amen. <sighs> you guys, please share this video. When you guys share my videos, you like my videos, you're letting Instagram know that this is a great and helpful video. And there's so many people who are feeling the exact same way as you are. So we want to get this message to as many people as possible. Also, you guys, if you want to help support me in any way, go to www.keylovesgod.com. That is my website. I have clothes on there, you guys. My other website is going to be up and going too, but I had to stop that for a little bit, but it will be up and running pretty soon. But you guys, buy something, if not for yourself, for your family, friends, whoever. You're definitely going to find something on there that you like, whether it be slides, whether it be hoodies, t-shirts, um, backpacks, cell phone cases, anything, you guys. Anything to support me. If you want to do that, definitely check it out. I would be so greatly appreciative and it would mean the world to me. I love you guys so much. And remember, be encouraged. This storm is not going to be here forever. It's not going to last. And if you could just hold on a little longer and if you need to watch this video every day, please do that. I love you. Mwah. We be too fascinated with money. Chasing dollars but don't have the credit. Get some knowledge and learn how to get it.